بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. In this Nur al-Quran reflection series, we try to develop a connection with the Quran through both understanding and memorization. We go over the translation of some of the meanings, the word roots, some of the Arabic word roots in their English translation, and we explain some of the lessons and reflections from the verses. We also try to develop a visual memory of the pages and explain some of the unique and similar verses that help with memorization. Okay, so in this video, inshallah, we'll talk about the second quarter of the Qur'an, which is al-ruba al-thani, which is ruba al-hizb al-awwal. And this starts with, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله لا يستحيي أن يضرب مثلا ما بعوضة فما فوقها Okay, so this quarter here starts on the right hand side here at about um, one quarter into the, that page on the right hand side There is one full page here on the left hand side and then it ends here at about half of the page on the right hand side and we can divide it into these topics here. So this here, these two ayahs here in the beginning, they talk about the defiantly disobedient. So remember that in the last quarter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about the believers in the very first five pages, five verses. And then he talked about the disbelievers in two verses and then talked about the hypocrites in 13 verses. So here he subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the defiantly disobedient. And then this will be the story of creation. Um, it starts here on A number 28 and it ends here on uh, A 37. And then there is a commentary or a conclusion, which are these two verses here. So commentary on that story of creation. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the children of Israel, the Bani Israel, the children of Israel. Um, so this is it starts here and it actually still goes into the next quarter, the quarter of Ata'murun and Nasa bil Bir. So we will continue to talk about this topic in the next quarter, inshallah. And in the story of creation, we can divide it into um, uh, subsections. So in the beginning here, this there is this conversation with the angels, and then there is the story of Adam and Iblis. So we'll get to that, inshallah, when we talk about the translation, inshallah. And um, here we have four verses on the right hand side. We have eight verses here. This is kind of a, um, a full page with shorter ayahs. So there's eight ayahs here, eight verses. And then we have six here on this right hand side. Okay, so let's do the translation, inshallah. Bismillah rahman rahim so indeed, Allah is not timid to present an example, that of a mosquito, or what is smaller than it. And those who have believed know that it is the truth from their Lord. But as far as for those who disbelieve, they say, what did Allah intend by this as an example? He misleads many thereby and guides many thereby. And he does not mislead except the defiantly disobedient. <laughs> Okay, so inna Allah la yastahyi. This is from Hayaya, and Hayaya is the word root for being timid or shy. So it means that he is not timid to present that example. He he speaks to people in words that they understand. So he would give an example of something that seems so trivial or seems so uh, mundane, but Allah subhanahu wa taala speaks to the people in the language that they understand, and he made the Quran easy to understand. And yadriba, so daraba. Daraba is a word root for strike. So he strikes an example. Methal, um, methal is an example. Bauda, that's a mosquito. Fama fawqaha. What is smaller than it? Fawq means literally means above. So it just means even what is smaller than that. Fama means as for those, aladina amanu, those who believed. Fayalamuna. They know from Alima and Nahul Haq from Haqqa, that's the truth. They know that it is the truth, Mir Rabbihim, from their Lord, from Rababa. Wa amma ladina kafar, as for those who disbelieved from kafara, fayakuluna, qawala, that's they say, madha, what arada, arada means what he desires, what is he, what did he intend, Allahu bihada mathala. Mathala is an example. And there is the small meme here, which means that we have to stop after this so it wouldn't change the meaning. Because if we continue, it would be understood that this 
um, sentence here is a continuation of method, so it would be like a description of that method. But this is not a description of just this method in here, it's just um, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala misleads many thereby. Yudillu from dalala, uh, which means to misguide. Kathira from kathara means many. Wayahdi from hadaya means he guides. Bihi kathira, so he um, guides many thereby. وَمَا يُضِلُّ بِهِ From ضَلَلَ Again, he does not mislead except الْفَاسِقِينَ From فَسَقَ And that's the defiantly disobedient. So those people, they do not understand because there is a seal on their hearts. And the reason for that is their own deeds. When they choose to be defiantly disobedient and insist on that, then guidance will not be given to them. Who break the covenant of Allah after contracting it and sever that which Allah has ordered to be joined and cause corruption on earth. It is those who are the losers. Alladina yanquduna from naqada means to break. Ahda from ahida, that's the covenant of Allah. Min ba'di mithaqi, mithaqi from wathaqa, um, and that's after they contract it. Wayaqutauna from qata'a means to cut or sever. Ma amara from Amara means to order what Allah has ordered to be joined. Yulsala from wasala, that's the passive form of the verb. So wasala is to be joined or to join. Wayufsiduna from fasada to corrupt or cause corruption on earth, fil ard. Ula'ika, those are humul khasirun from khasira, and that's those are the losers. So those people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about here, that they are defiantly disobedient and insist on their disobedience, they break the oaths and promises that they made in the name of Allah. And they sever the relations that Allah ordered to join, which is kinship. Remember that joining kinship and being good to your kin and family is a reason for blessing and increase in provision. We are ordered to be good to kin, not only when they are good to us, but also when they are not. It is important to keep one's dignity, but to also not allow pride to get in the way and result in severing of kinship. Okay, then we start talking about the story of creation. How can you disbelieve in Allah when you were lifeless and he brought you to life? Then he will cause you to die. Then he will bring you back to life. And then to him you will be returned. So this ayah is kind of joins this topic here that there's people that are defiantly disobedient. They're kafirun. They refuse and reject um, the message. They refuse to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how is it? that you do that when you were lifeless and he brought you back to life. And so here, this is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us of where we come from. He starts to talk about the story of creation. So, كَيْفَ تَكْفُرُونَ from kafara means how do you, can you disbelieve بِاللَّهِ in Allah wa kuntum you were amwatan from mawata means you were lifeless, uh, you were dead. فَأَحْيَاكُمْ from hayaya means he brought you to life. Haya is the word for life. Word root for life. Thumma yumitukum again from mawata means he caused you, to, uh, he will cause you to die. Thumma yuhyikum, that's the same word root as hayaya, means he will bring you back to life. Thumma ilayhi turja'un from raja'a means to him you will be returned. It is he who created for you all of that which is on the earth. Then he directed himself to the heaven his being above all creation, and ma made them seven heavens, and he is knowing of all things. Huwa alladhi, it is him who, khalaqa, means uh, create from khalaqa, lakum ma fil ard, he created for you, what is that which is on the earth, ma fil ard, jami'a, from jama'a means all of it. Thumma stawa, from sawaya, uh, ila sama to the heaven, sama the sky or the heaven. فسوهن, from sawa uh, again, um, he made them seven, seven samawat, seven heavens. وهو بكل شيء he is knowing of all things. بكل شيء عليم from عليم means he is knowing, and بكل شيء is of all things. And mention, O Muhammad, when your Lord said to the angels, Indeed, I will make upon the earth a successive authority. They said, Will you place upon it one who causes corruption therein and sheds blood while we declare your praise and sanctify you? He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, said, Indeed, I know that which you do not know. 
So the angels here are not objecting. They are inquiring. They're asking a question that many people have. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not create humans like angels? Why aren't humans inherently good creatures with no ability to disobey Allah or cause corruption? Many Muslims consider that question taboo, even though it is addressed right here, only a few pages into the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the angels that he knows what they do not know. Now, if you follow along the story of the creation of Adam in the next few ayahs, Allah shows us the two qualities that he gave humans that angels were not given, knowledge and free will. The people who will strive to fight their whims and desires and use their free will to pursue knowledge, to pursue the truth, and let that bring them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are by definition elevated over the angels who do not have the option of choosing to disobey Allah. Those people are the ones that will be rewarded by abiding eternally in Jannah in the presence of their Lord. وَإِذْ قَالَ So, وَإِذْ وَإِذْ قَالَ is mentioned five times in Surah Al-Baqarah and this is the first time. So, قَالَ from قَوَلَ means um, he said, رَبُّكَ So, your Lord said from رَبَبَ لِلْمَلَائِكَ to the angels إِنِّي جَاعِلْ جَاعِلْ from جَعَلَ means uh, to make. So, I will make upon the earth a successive authority. And this is the first unique ayah in this quarter. And when the story of creation is mentioned in other surahs, Allah SWT says, إِنِّي خَالِقْ means I am creating or uh, for the the word root for khalaqa or creation is mentioned, but here it's ja'il. It's the only time that this is mentioned. Fil ardi in the earth, khalifa from khalifa means a successor or successive authority. Qalu they said ataja'alu from. So this hamza is a, yeah, a, a word for like a letter for yes or no question. It means are you going to? Will you place taja'al from ja'ala? Are you going to make in it one who causes corruption? May you sidu from fasada, fiha in it, wayas fiku from safaka means to shed, dima that's blood, wa nahnu and we, nusabihu from sabaha means we declare your praise, nusabihu bihamdika so hamd is praise means we declare your praise, we make tasbih, wa nuqaddisu from qadasa and that's to sanctify, wa nuqaddisu lak. قَالَ He said, إِنِّي I أَعْلَمُ I know from عَلِمَ مَا لَا What you do not know. تَعْلَمُونَ from عَلِمَ So that is what you do not know. And he taught Adam the names, all of them. Then he showed them to the angels and said, Inform me of the names of these if you are truthful. A few pages into the Qur'an, we learn that knowledge is the privilege that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to humans, gave to mankind. From here onwards, the word root for knowledge, ilm, will be repeated over and over in the Qur'an. The pursuit, acquisition, and transmission of knowledge is at the forefront of this tradition. وَعَلَّمَ from عَلِمَ The word root for ilm, for ilm uh, means he caused Adam to know. So that, that's the literal translation. So it means he taught Adam. وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ So that's the names. كلها, all of them. ثم عرضهم, from عرضة means to show على الملائكة, upon the angels or to the angels. فقال, and he said, أنبئوني, from نبوة, means to inform. بأسمائي, with the names of those هؤلاء إن كنتم, if you are truly صادقين, from صدقة, that's truthful. If you truly know, that's uh, what it means. They said, Exalted are you. We have no knowledge except what you have taught us. Indeed, it is you who is the knowing, the wise. So, قالوا, they said, Subhanaka. Subhanaka means you are exalted are you. Subhanaka la ilma. There is no knowledge, no ilm. Lana illa ma alamtan. Except what you have taught us from alima. إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ it is, Indeed, it is you who are Al-Alim from Alima, again, the all-knowing, and Al-Hakim from Hakama, that's the wise. And that's the second unique ayah. This is the only إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَلِيمُ الْحَكِيمُ that is mentioned in the whole Qur'an. So the angels here um, were humble and they acknowledged that they do not have any knowledge except what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing them here that Adam, that he gave Adam that knowledge, and this is 
And this is the takrim that he gave Adam. This is the, the privilege that he gave Adam. He said, O oh Adam, inform them of their names. And when he had informed them of their names, he said, Did I not tell you that I know the unseen aspects of the heavens and the earth? And I know what you reveal and what you have concealed. Qala ya Adam. He said, O oh Adam, am bi'hum. From Naba'a means inform them. Bi asma'im, of their names. Falamma anba'am. When he informed them of their names, قَالَ أَلَمْ أَقُلْ لَكُمْ Have I not told you? Alam, this Hamza in the beginning, again, is a yes or no question. Alam أَقُلْ لَكُمْ Have I not told you? So أَقُلْ from قَوَلَ means I have to, said to you. لَكُمْ إِنِّي That I أَعْلَمُ I know غَيْبَ From غَيْبَ That's the unseen. السَّمَاوَاتِ The heavens والأرض, The earth وَأَعْلَمُ And I know مَا تُبِدُونَ From بَدَيَ What you show. وَمَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْتُمُونَ What you have concealed. تَكْتُمُونَ from كَتَمَ means to conceal. And this is the third unique ayah. وَمَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْتُمُونَ In other um, incidents in the Qur'an, other, other mentions of this is وَمَا تَكْتُمُونَ without كُنْتُمْ And mention when we said to the angels, prostrate before Adam. So they prostrated except for Iblis. He refused and was arrogant and became of the disbelievers. وَإِذْ قُلْنَا We said لِلْمَلَائِكَةَ To the angels أُسْجُدُوا From sajada Means to prostrate لِآدَمَ To Adam فَسَجَدُوا So they prostrated except Iblis إِلَّا Iblis أَبَا From أَبَيَ That's um, to refuse To refuse in arrogance وَاسْتَكْبَرَ From كَبَرَ Means he was arrogant وَكَانَ مِنْ so kabara is the word root for uh, something big, but istakbara means to uh, be arrogant, to, sh to seek to show that you're big when you aren't, or to seek to show yourself in a, in a higher level than you actually are. So that's, that's the literal translation, of show, so just mean arrogant. وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ From kafara, that's for other disbelievers. And we said, O oh Adam, dwell you and your wife in paradise. And eat therefrom in ease and abundance, from wherever you will. But do not approach this tree, lest you be among the wrongdoers. وَقُلْنَا And we have said, يَا آدَمْ O Adam, أُسْكُنْ So that's from Sakana means dwell. أَنْتَ وَزَوْجُكَ You and your wife, from Zawaja, that's um, the word root for pair. So that's your partner, your wife. الجنة, that's um, the uh, paradise. Wakula, so that's from akala, means to eat, but that's in um, uh, the form of when you're speaking to two people. Kula minha ragadan, so to, both of you eat from it. Ragadan, so ragada, um, that's ease and abundance. So kula minha, that's the first time of two that is mentioned here. Uh, so those can get a bit confusing. We'll talk about them, inshallah, in the next quarter. And there is also similar ayahs in Surah Al-A'raf. حَيْثُ شِئْتُمَ So from wherever you will, from شِئْتُمَ شَيْئَ From شَيْئَ means to will. And that's when you're speaking to two people. شِئْتُمَ There's this um, alif in the end. وَلَا تَقْرَبَ And do not approach from قَرَبَ هَذِهِ الشَّجَرَ This tree, shajara is tree. فَتَكُونَ And that's again to two people. مِنْ الظالمين. From or among the wrongdoers, Walimin from Lalama. But Satan caused them to slip out of it and removed them from that condition of which they had been. And we said, Go down, all of you, as enemies to one another, and you will have upon the earth a place of settlement and provision for a time. Fa'azallahuma from Zalala means he caused them to slip, so a shaytan, that's Satan, anha to slip away from it or split, slip out of it فَأَخْرَجَهُمَا from خَرَجَ خرج is to go out أَخْرَجَ means he removed them he caused them to go out مِمَّا كَانَ فِي from what they had been in وَقُلْنَا هَبِطُ so that's the set, first time of two هَبِطُ from هَبَطَ means go down بَعْضُكُمْ from that's بَعْض so بَعْضُكُمْ لِبَعْض means some of you are enemies so you um, enemies to one another Adu from Adawa or Adaya, that's the enemy. Walakum fil ard, and you will have on earth Mustaqar from Qarara, 
that's a place of settlement. وَمَتَاعٌ from مَتَعَ that's a, a provision or enjoyment. إِلَى uh, for a time. حين is a time. Then Adam received from his Lord some words, and he accepted his repentance. Indeed, it is he who is the accepting of repentance, the merciful. فَتَلَقَّى So لَقِيَ is to meet. تَلَقَّى means to receive. Laqiya is the word root. Adam, so Adam received mir from his Lord kalimat from kalama that's words. Fataba from tawaba means that he um, returned to his Lord, that he made repentance. Fataba alay from tawaba. Innahu huwa Allah subhanahu wa taala is the tawab. Tawab from tawaba again is the accepting of repentance. Al rahim the merciful from rahima. We said, go down from it, all of you. And when guidance comes to you from me, whoever follows my guidance, there will be no fear concerning them, nor will they grieve. So again, from habata, that means go down. So that's the second time, and those can get confusing sometimes. From jama'a, that's all of you. From ataya. Uh, when it's it means uh, to come. فَإِمَّا يَتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدَى هُدَى is, from, is هَدَيَا from guidance. فَمَنْ تَبِعَا from تَبَعَا means to follow. هُدَيَا my guidance from هَدَيَا again. فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ there is no خوف that's fear. from خَوَفَ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ from حَزَنَا that's uh, grieve. So there will be no fear concerning them nor will they grieve and this is similar with five other ayahs that end with wala khawfun alayhim wala hum yahsanun but this one is fala khawfun alayhim wala hum yahsanun so the conclusion here is the consequences of, of following guidance and the consequences of being defiantly disobedient This story is so important for understanding our origin, where we come from, and the consequences of what we do and the decisions that we make. This was a test for Adam, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us that there are consequences for disobeying him. Allah is the entirely merciful, and slipping or making a mistake is not the end of the world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted Adam's repentance. He even taught him the words of repentance and how to repent. He is pleased to have his servant come back to him in repentance. He rewards repentance and accepts it when it is sincere. Those who will deserve the eternal punishment are the ones who are arrogant, insist on sin, are defiantly disobedient, and reject the truth while knowing it out of arrogance and pride. And so the next ayah here is, And those who disbelieve and deny our signs, those will be the companions of the fire. They will abide therein eternally. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا from kafara means those who disbelieved. وَكَذَّبُوا from kathaba means to deny. So kathaba the word root means to lie. And kathaba means to uh, deny. بِآيَاتِنَا of our signs or أُولَئِكَ those will be companions. أَصْحَاب from sahaba that's companion. النَّارِ that's the fire, whom fiha in it they are khalidun from khalada means they will abide therein eternally. Okay, so then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Bani Israel, the children of Israel. O children of Israel, remember my favor which I have bestowed upon you and fulfill my covenant upon you, that I will fulfill your covenant for me <clears throat> and be afraid of only me. Ya Bani Israel, this is mentioned three times in Surah Al Baqarah. So, this one time here, and then there's going to be another time here in the next quarter, inshallah, that we'll talk about next time, inshallah, and then there will be one more. So, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, Udkuru from Dakara means remember or mention, Ni'amati from Na'ama, that's my favor, Lati an Na'amtu from Na'ama, which means I have bestowed upon you, I have blessed you with. Wa'awfu from Wafaya means fulfill, Bi'ahdi, my covenant from Ahada. Ufi means that uh, I will fulfill from Wafaya again, Bi'ahdikum. So, uh, means, um, Fulfill your covenant and uh, fulfill my covenant so that I upon you that I will fulfill your covenant for me. Bi'ahdikum means your covenant. Wa iyaya me 
farhabun. From rahaba means be afraid of only me. And believe in what I have sent down, confirming that which is already with you. And do not be the first to disbelieve in it. And do not exchange my signs for a small price. And fear only me. Wa aminu from amana means believe. Bima of what anzaltu from nazala, that which I have sent down. Musaddiqan from sadaqa means um, that is confirming. So sadaqa is the word root for truth. Um, and musaddiqa means confirming. Lima ma'akum. For what you, what is already with you, ولا تكونوا from كونا do not be أولا the first كافر كافر from كفرة first disbeliever ولا تشتروا from شرايا means do not exchange بآياتي with my signs ثمنا ثمن is a price قليل is a small price small from قللا وإياي and me فتقون from وقايا means fear only me. And do not mix the truth with falsehood or conceal the truth while you know it. ولا تلبسوا from لبسة means to mix. الحقة from حققة the truth بالباطل from بطلة that's falsehood. وتكتموا from كتمة that's to conceal. الحق حققة means the truth while you وأنتم تعلمون from علمة while you know it. وأقيموا الصلاة and establish prayer and give zakah and bow with those who bow in worship and obedience. وأقيموا from قوامة means to establish الصلاة that's prayer. وآتوا from أتايا means um, give as zakah from زكايا that's the word for a word for purification and that's zakah is a purification of money. وركعوا from ركعة means bow مع الركعين with the with those who bow الركعين those who bow in worship and obedience. So the children of Israel are addressed here. They are from among the people of the scripture. They have knowledge, and some of the Jewish scholars at the time of the Prophet وسلم, recognize that he is the messenger that is described in the, their scripture and who was sent from God. But they refuse to believe in him for one reason. They had been expecting him to be an Israelite, not because this is mentioned in their scripture, but because of their own bias and whims. But he turned out to be an Arab, so they felt too proud to believe in him and acknowledge his prophethood. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses them to follow the truth that they recognize and to not conceal their knowledge for a worldly desire or a small price. So in this quarter, we had three unique ayahs that we talked about, inni ja'il, and we said that in other surahs, it's inni khaliq, when this story is mentioned. Innaka anta al-alimu al-hakim, in other uh, surahs, it's huwa al-alimu al-hakim, so it's different here, this is the only time this is mentioned. Ma tubiduna wa ma kuntum taktumun, this is the only kuntum taktumun, in other ayahs, in other surahs, ma tubiduna wa ma taktumun. So those are the unique ayahs. For the similar ayahs, um, there are so many, and they're mentioned, they're all in the PDF file that is in this, the description of this video. Uh, but we'll just go over uh, some of them. قَالَ So we had وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ then Later, inshallah, we're going to have وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى twice وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ twice. So that's a total of five. Uh, قَالُوا is also the beginning of four ayahs وَكُلَا مِنْهَا and فَكُلُوا مِنْهَا Those can get confusing when you're memorizing. So just remember that this kula is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to two people, that's Adam and his wife, so that's two kula. But then kulu is for plural, for more than two people, so that was for a group of people. And in Surah Al-A'raf it's going to be فَكُلَا مِنْ حَيْثُ شِئْتُمَا inshallah when we get to Surah Al-A'raf. قُلْ نَهْبِطُ and وَقُلْ نَهْبِطُ So those two here are mentioned in the same quarter. And then the rest, inshallah, is in the PDF file in this video.